Why y'all there? Lord mercy, I'm Dan. I want to welcome everyone to my home in the sticks. Wherever you're at in the world, I hope you're having a great weekend and I hope everything's good with you. Before we get started on today's video, I always like to say that if you are new to this channel, I want to welcome you. And if you return and just see what old Dan's got going on over her, I show enough thank you for coming back. But what I want to share with you and y'all today, Lord mercy, it is time. It's about 40 degrees uh, outside today, bunch of overcast, so it's perfect time to make some sausage. So give me a second. We fit to walk off into this shop and I'm gonna show you what we fit in the do's. Dan, what you fit to do today? Well, I'm here to tell you several, several years ago, I did a video on us making some uh, homemade green onion deer sausage. It's been a long time uh, back since we, we did it. It's been several years since we made any sausage since then. But I talked to my brother Chris and Possum Bud, he's on his way, so we're kind of waiting on the other partes to this extravaganza to show up. But today we're going to make some green onion deer sausage, the homemade kind. I'm going to show you the equipment uh, that we're going to be using. It's the same stuff I've had for several, several years. So uh, yeah, before they get here and we get to doing what we do, let me show you what we're going to use. All right, for grinding wise, this is a Weston three-quarter horse uh, commercial grade butcher's grinder and the always ever-present Hawker seven gallon vertical sausage stuffer. I have the drum taken off of it, I cleaned it. And uh, I really like these things right here. These are LEM totes. Been having these a while. They work really, really good for large quantities of uh, meat that you're grinding or just whatever. They're nice to have. And here's all the other pieces to the uh, stuff that we're gonna use. I just wash them down in some hot water. Yeah, just to get them sanitized up. And in the deep freeze, I have my grinding head. It's been sitting in here uh, oh, overnight. I put it in last night, washed it, but I got the grinding head in the freezer uh, chilling. Huh, no pun intended. So Dan, why do you put your grinding head in the freezer? Well, I like to get it ice cold because when we grind that meat, it just makes that meat grind a lot easier. And if we have to, depending on how much meat we have to grind up, I'll, I'll clean it again, I'll put it in the freezer and we'll wait a little while and then we'll, we'll get commence to grinding again on the uh, sausage or the meat that we're using. From what I understand, Chris uh, has, I don't know, maybe 50, 75 pounds of deer meat that we're gonna grind up. We're gonna use some seasoning straight from the New Orleans, the New Orleans area, uh, the green onion mix that we're gonna use. I believe we're gonna put in some fresh bell pepper and some fresh green onions along with the seasoning to make uh, our sauces today. So when they get here and we commence to doing what we do, I turn this camera back on. All right, the parties are here. Brother Possum Butt's here. There's Brother Chris, he's over there. We got 25 pounds with 23.8 pounds of deer meat. Finna grind it. Okie dokie. Chris is outside. We're gonna start grinding up this deer meat. Got a cold grinding head, cold meat. Ooh, this is really cold. Let's see what it does. Yeah, this thing's gotta load up. Alright, that'll work, bro. Yeah, this is grinding up really good, especially because it's cold. Yeah. It right out. yeah. No. Alright. 25 pounds of ground deer meat. You could take a look at this stuff. It looks a lot better than the stuff you can buy at the grocery store. And this is deer meat. Finna ground up the Boston butt. Yeah. Yeah. 20 pounds, 20.1 pounds of pork. That's gonna work out perfect. Now we got about, uh, how many pounds is it, Chris? 20, 20, 20, yeah, something like that. 28 pounds of pork. That we're gonna grind up now. So we're working on that. Y'all gotta give some love to Possum Butt because he's working the camera. Lower. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah man. Yeah. I might leave that part in. Hell, there ain't no throwing. Yeah, you can see the fat difference. Yeah, oh, yeah. Boy, you want to talk about going to make a good sausage? Oh, yeah. Ooh, man, I mean. It's not going to matter. It'll all cook out anyway. Ooh. Yeah, we shouldn't have any strangers at all. No, I agree with you on that. All right, we got 25 pounds of ground up Boston butt. It's fitting to go in the deep freeze. We're going to let it sit for a few minutes, and then we're going to commence to mixing it one more time with the seasoning. Next. All right, first uh, batch, we're going to do 25 pounds of Cajun sausage. Bergeron, what you putting in there, brother? Red and green bell peppers dehydrated. Mixing it up. What we're going to do is we're mixing it up. And we're gonna do a second grind on it and then we'll be done with the grinding and then we'll run it through the stuff and put it in the skin. So that's what we're doing right now. It's basically gonna be the same thing when we do the, uh, the green onion deer sausage, but we'll, uh, we'll bring you back on that. Well, we're fitting to put some Trinity in there, uh, bell pepper and onion, well, excuse me, onion and green bell pepper. And yeah, we're gonna do that. So we're mixing this up now and I got to pay pause and butt to be the cameraman. <laughs> Next. I'm volunteering. Free All charge. right, here we go. All right, what we're doing is we're mixing up the seasoning with a little bit of water. You can use ice, Chris and Jason water. We used water last time. We used water we used and water. ice last yeah. time, yeah. And all we're gonna do is pour it in. Just mix this better. Yeah, and Chris is gonna mix it on in. Ooh, man, I'm here to tell you, that seasoning smells really good. You want some more water? Yeah. Alright. You can use ice cubes if you want to, and ice cubes work just fine, but we found that using water... Get through, through the meat. Yeah, it makes us through the meat a little bit and better. the meat's frozen, so as soon as you pull that water in here, it's turning to ice. Mm-hmm. You know, I got that mixer, which we don't never use. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, it smells good. I don't know if we gave you a shot of that, but that's the seasoning that we're using. One bag for 25 pounds. Because you got to get some salt in your mouth. Keep your meat cold, remember that. That's right. Ready? Yep. Uh, all right we finna grind this up one more time and then we'll bring you back when it comes time for stuffing may bring you back when we uh, mix up the green onion deer sausage too next what we're doing is we're gonna fry up a patty just to test the flavor profile just to make sure that the seasonings are right and that's one hell of a damn patty, I ain't gonna lie. enough for us all to snack on. That's right. So we're gonna fry this up and we'll turn the camera back on. We'll let you know. I'm pretty sure the flavor profile is gonna be right, but yeah, give us a second. We'll be right back. All right, so we fried up a test patty and we're gonna check it out. We're gonna taste it and see if the flavor profile is right. I'm pretty sure it is. We're gonna bust this up three ways or something ways. Go ahead, Chris. Possum butt. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, nothing to it. Mm -mm. What do you think, possum butt? That's really good. Woo! Damn. <coughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. I can taste that on the grill, buddy. Mm -hmm. I, I thought it'd be fine on the grill. Oh, yeah. Next thing we're going to do is you want to. You want to run these and skins next, or you want to mix yeah. up the other one, or you want to run these? I guess we can mix up the other one and then run everything. Okay, so give us a couple of seconds. We've got to mix up the uh, green onion deer sausage as a seasoning, do a little taste test. We'll bring it right back. All right, we're mixing up the uh, green onion deer sausage. We're doing it the same exact way, except this is just a different flavor profile. And we are mixing up the seasoning in water. And Chris is fitting a... Put the whammy on it. Oh, yes, Lord. The whammy. Oh. Ooh. It just... 
That smells good. Ooh, damn it, boy. So this is gonna be the last, the last mix. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna throw all this meat in a grinder again, grind it one more time just to incorporate everything, and then we're gonna move on to uh, stuffing the sausage. So we'll bring you back. What he's doing is he's stuffing that seven pound hopper and we fixing to run some sausage now. Uh, which one is that, Chris? That's the Cajun, ain't it? Yeah. That's, That's the, the Cajun, Cajun sausage. Back yeah, it's, it's, you go in and then up. Nah, yeah, slide yourself in this way and then hook on to these, those things right there. Roll. There we go. Yeah. I do my best work from the back. All right, we're, <laughs> we're going to roll these. We're gonna, uh, hold on, I got to roll that skin off. <laughs> we're gonna, yeah, I got to put the, uh, the hog casing on and then we'll get the stuff and some sausage. Next. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to roll the skin on next. And what you want to do is you want to make sure this tube's wet. <laughs> that doesn't even sound good. Lord. Everything works better with a little grease on it. Yeah. You're going to run that skin on. Well, I'll be dang. We're going to tie off this end. So that takes like what 20 how many feet is that about shit i don't know chris what i do is i also have a a pricker just to get some of the air out all right go ahead and roll with it all right let me hold chris I definitely like the, the real intestine versus the synthetic. Cause yeah. The synthetic is like a slimy taste. I mean, a little. It's that collagen. Yeah. Is what it is. We are done. Bottomed out. All right. What we can do is. Just leave it on there. Just yep. fill it up. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna just go ahead and cut it right here. <clears throat> go ahead and tie another knot. That ain't bad. You got it? Yeah. All right. 25 pounds of Cajun. Dear sausage, I'm here to tell you, they're going to be some fine eating. We're finna work on this green onion sausage, we'll bring you back when we get done. All right, that's what we ended up with. 25 pounds of green onion sausage, and you can't see it, but that's 28 pounds of Cajun deer sausage. So the only thing left to do is to vacuum seal those bags up, and we're going to be done with it. It's been a long day. This video will probably only be, I don't know, 15, 16 minutes long, but we have been at it since about 9 o'clock, 9.30 this morning. So, yeah, there's that. All right, that's what I wanted to share with you and y'all today. Uh, green onion deer sausage and some Cajun deer sausage using deer meat. Haven't done any uh, sausage in a while. So, again, I hope everybody has a show enough, show enough good weekend, and I hope you're being safe amid this crisis that's still going on. If you uh, like this video, go and give it a thumbs up to help. If you haven't subscribed to the Homie Six channel, Lord of Mercy. Y'all need to come over and give old Dan a look. Because I'm always doing stuff like us uh, making deer sausage. With that being said, you know it's coming down right for show enough. Always gonna say it. Don't let nobody do your shine. And I mean nobody. You sure enough get your shine on. Get your deer sausages on. Just be you. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.